Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to create this fun text color transition. So you see, we have just you know footage before here, and then whenever we get over into this point, the footage is just going to switch, and it has like this little fun thing to sort of show you the next scene, and then you're into the next scene. And timing this up with some music or something makes it look really, really neat. Uh, this is, like I said, it's a, it's a pretty easy effect to create. It's a lot, nice little fun effect to have in your arsenal. And you can change the text, you can change the background colors, and it all works really, really nicely. So let's get started on this. First thing you need to do is go up to the graphics, go to new layer, and then go to rectangle right here. And what that's going to do is it's going to create this rectangle, just drag it up into the top right, and then drag this out so it, it covers the entire background like so. And all we're going to be using this is like is as basically a color mat for the background color. You can go to the fill and set the, the beginning color here. Uh, well, let's start this off as maybe like a, an orange sort of. And I always go to the bottom right here. It has the most pure colors. But if you want to do a, a different color palette, you can do that as well, like maybe a lighter pastel color or anything like that. So we're just going to go ahead and change it to this orange right here and then fit it to the, the footage. And then that's looking pretty good. Now, next we're gonna add our text and we wanna make sure that we add the text to this layer. Don't have it unselected because if you click text, a lot of times it'll actually create a new layer on the top and then they're not the same layer which will make it a little bit more difficult when we try to save the transition later. We're gonna click and we're just gonna type in some text. Uh, it can be a location, it can be really anything that you want that fits your scene. So um, let's just go with Rhode Island just came to my head, so that's what we're gonna go with here. Now when I click on this, I can go to the right over here into the edit, the essential graphics panel. So we're gonna go to the essential graphics panel, the edit, click on the text, and then down into align and transform. And then I'm going to hit the horizontal center and on the vertical center, and that's gonna center it perfectly into the center of the, uh, the frame here. Now, the only problem is if I wanted to type more, you can see it just goes right off the end. We want it to be centered here. So. We're also going to go down into the text portion of the essential graphics, and we're gonna change from left aligned text to center aligned text, and you're gonna see that throws it off a little bit, so we're gonna just click our buttons again to realign it back into the center here. And now whenever we type something new, like uh, if we went with uh, New York now, you can see that it, it forms within the center and it'll always look good. And you can play around with this. You could try all caps. All caps usually looks pretty good for this as well. And you want a text that is, you know, sort of this bold, uh, higher face here. You don't want anything really, really skinny like, uh, uh, I don't know, like like Cyph Siphon or something, um, or like uh, Tekton Pro. You don't want any of those like really, really thin ones right there. You want something big like maybe Stencil. Uh, stencil might actually look kind of cool here. So let's let's try that out down here. Or Show Card Gothic is actually probably look really good here as well. So let's just change the text. Let's mix it up for this one. So we're going to go with show card gothic. Now we're going to click on it and go into the left side over here to effect controls. And then we're going to go down into the shape layer, which is our background in this instance, we can rename it if we wanted to, um, just to make things a little easier. So that we can find it easier. Now you can see it says shape background. And then we're going to go into the fill. So we're gonna center this, or not center it, but go to the very beginning of the clip here. Go into fill, and then up here you see that the appearance, which is the fill, the stroke, and the shadow, all have a single toggle animation. We're going to click on that toggle animation, and then move forward about 10 frames, or if you have a beat that you wanna set it to, just move it to that beat that you want that the, the change to go to. And then we're just gonna start changing the fill. The best way to make sure all the color palettes sort of stay the same is to don't move this, the, the circle that actually chooses the color here, just move the right bar over here. And this will make it so that you can just change to different colors and they're all sort of the, the same strength. So the next one, let's go, uh, we can go, usually I just go like down the list and just choose these colors, but you can do it completely random if you want. I'm gonna go from this orange and maybe to this, this pure green here, one, two. Uh, I'm holding the shift tab when I click over to go 10 frames at a time. If you hold shift, it goes plus five. So it makes it a little easier just to jump forward really fast. And then we're going to move this one to, so green to maybe this light blue. One, two. And this, it has a little glitch here where it doesn't actually update the fill and it keeps resetting back to the base value. I don't know why it does that. Um, maybe it's intended and I just don't understand it, but it does do that. down to the purple, and then maybe one more as red. 
like so. And then now what we have is this sort of fast little transition here, and then it will cut it off at the end. And then we have done, 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 and then back into the next one. Now, what we can do is, so we can actually apply this to other um, compositions, other entire projects, we can save this as an essential graphics preset, which will allow us to just go into the browse and find it. So if I right click here and I go into export as motion graphics template, I can name it. So let's go with the uh, color text transition. Click OK, you can give it keywords, you can do compatibility where you want it to store all that stuff. Click OK, it's going to export and then it'll be over here in the essential graphics browse and then my templates. And so we can go down and we can find it I named it color text transition right here. And then I can go ahead and grab this. So let's delete this out of here. so I can show you I can grab this anywhere that I want and drop this in. And now I have this this color dropped right in. And I can go click on it. And just like before, I can go ahead and change the text here. So let's go with another place. Uh, let's go Ohio now. And so now we have, we can drag and drop it. Now, if you want to change the color, instead of having to redo every single color on here, you can actually do a little trick right here, which is to use the color balance. It's in color correction. So go to your effects tab, video effects, color correction, down to color balance, HLS, you want the HLS because that means hue, luma, saturation, and drag that onto your entire graphics layer right here. The reason that you can do that you want to do this is because now we can just go down here to the very bottom, and we can sort of change the entire color all at once. So for example, if we just hue shift this um, up to 61, you'll notice that every single color has changed. It doesn't start orange now, it just takes it and it goes down that so right here, it goes down this, it just takes this and it shifts all the keyframes down this. So you actually get this thing where the colors are all different still, they're all that that fun different where they're not they're, you know, it isn't just orange and then lighter orange and lighter orange, because it's shifting them all by the same value. So you get the difference, but all the colors change. So for example, if you if you wanted to start it off with something like uh, maybe a blue, you could just drag this until you get that blue color. And then now it starts off with the blue and it just cycles through the colors. If you wanted a lighter one, you can also just increase the lightness here and it'll go ahead and make it those sort of pastel -y colors. Looks kind of like Easter colors here, which looks pretty neat. Um, you could, of course, if you get into those lighter colors, add maybe like a stroke here of black to help offset the text just a touch. Stroke, black maybe two or three or 11. And then now you just have this sort of it just stands out a bit more. But that's how you do this effect a really, really fun effect and a really, really customizable, something you can throw in quickly to transition from one to another where they don't have really anything related. So you need to do like a hard transition. This is a fun way to do that. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and that subscribe button and make a video every other day on Adobe related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.